I'm so happy because yesterday over lunch, it was determined mm -hmm. that we have a a foundation who's going to fund pulling Betty's art out of storage, out of storage, taking it, looking, cleaning, photographing, and oh. potentially mounting an exhibition. I'm happy today because we're shooting our second uh, in the sex skills series, Manual Skills. Yes, yes. And so I thought, let's podcast about it. Anna will be here from Copenhagen, and it's going to be all women on set. Yay, it's an all women crew. And it's going to be Manual Skills, How to Orgasm. It's what we all have to go through in order to discover our own sexuality. Now, ideally, we would do this when we're very young. Yes, teenagers. Uh, most of us don't get around to it until we're mature women. And a lot of women got to it when they took a workshop with me. Look at your snatch. <laughs> yeah, with a mirror that stands alone and a good light. The light is essential. Like a little desk lamp. Or get in front of a window with good light coming in. That's how I did it first. And you're going to get ready for your genital massage. Starts with a massage. And the key is oil. Yes, yes. Almond oil. You have I, to well, move your some, fingers. Some clean, some clean natural mm -hmm. oil, natural nut oil. And you just start doing the massage. You rub yourself all over. You feel yourself all over. You pull the hood back. You look at the clitoral glands. You look at your petals. You open your petals. Mm -hmm. Then you open the outer. And you look at the vaginal opening. I love when they do it. If you open to the side and then kind of pull down, you can see it all opens up, and you can see inside inside the vaginal opening. I yes. know I've never done it before until I met Betty, and I was like, yeah. "Damn, it was very interesting. It was beautiful yeah. too." Yeah, it's the second rose. Oil, oil, oil. Two fingers. Mm -hmm. You just make a circle. You go over the clitoral glands, mm -hmm. and the the hood will be on top of the glands. Don't pull back. No, well, you can if you want. If you want, pull the hood back and touch the glands. It can be sensitive. Yeah! <laughs> or, or you do it and it's it, you get no feeling. And this doesn't mean it's broken. It just means it's, it hasn't been awakened. Now, if you haven't done this and you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, It's going to take some time. You have to play with yourself. Yeah, you have to give your body time mm -hmm. to pump blood in there. And, and adjust. Yeah. Do little just, circles. And then you go in the opposite direction, and you will find you prefer one or the other. Or, mm -hmm. they're, both, or they're both good. And then the other thing is just... Just go in a circle, 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 circle. And and if you go really fast at the end, when you're getting close to coming, that's perfectly all right. But start mm -hmm. slow. Just slow. Just and, feel it. And some and, so now, and you're looking. You're watching in the mirror. And every now and then I suggest just close your eyes and and sense. Just see what you can sense. Sometimes I get hot looking at it. <laughs> like looking well, at myself. I turned on myself. Yes. And the <laughs> other know? thing you can do is when you're masturbating is to mm -hmm. hold the image in your mind's eye of, yes. your, of your vulva. Mm -hmm. Keep that in your it's mind. It's hot. It totally and, gets me excited. Yes, and then I go this whole thing about, my clit's getting bigger. Oh, bigger. Look at it. It's getting engorged. Yeah, yeah. It's getting so big. <laughs> it's pulsating. <laughs> On the clitoris, working the pelvic mm -hmm. floor muscle, and you can see how much uh, muscle actually... Yeah, if you clench your muscles like you're trying to stop urinating, yeah. you'll see in the mirror your um, vaginal opening and even your anus it will flex up. Everything. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> but in the beginning, spend at least at least twenty minutes. Don't, you know, we we don't take time for ourselves. We we're waiting and doing a million things for a million other people except ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I consider this to be part of my sexual meditation. Oh, I like that. Yes, I like that. Focusing on me and and my sex organ and thinking pretty thoughts mm -hmm. and meeting her giving her a pet name and hugging her in the morning and giving her a good sniff at night. Mm. All of those good things because she's going to be your best friend once you get her working. That's right.